Good morning. This morning is Wednesday the 15th of July and um, we're going to come together this morning and read Psalm 24. It simply says the start of it, a Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean's depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord's? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Saviour. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, invincible in battle. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of heaven's armies. He is the King of glory. Amen. Psalm 24 is very much a psalm of praise. Straightforward, simple praise. Um, just declaring who God is and about the relationship that we can have with him. Again, declaring that God created the world and everything that's in it. And saying that we have to be right with God to approach him. We can understand verses 3 to 6 in an eternal sense. In that, you know, whenever life's end comes to an end, whenever life on earth comes to an end and we go to our final destination, as you might put it, how do we enter heaven? How do we enter the place where God is? And it says only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols, never tell lies, though they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God, their saviour. That's the clue. We know that None of us are pure and holy. None of us um, have never told a lie. None of us have got hands which aren't stained with sin in some way or another. But it talks about uh, the right relationship. Those who have the Lord's blessing with God as their saviour. That's the clue. We need a saviour. And that talks about how, you know, whenever we have a saviour, what we have to look forward to we have eternity with god it says such people may seek you and worship you in your presence O god of jacob oh to be able to be in god's presence for eternity and not forever separated from him that's true glory at the end of everything else and it goes on to say as well just about who god is he is strong he is mighty he's invincible He's the Lord of heaven's armies. He is the King of glory. A simple psalm, just 10 verses long, but a psalm that very openly declares God as creator, as maker, as a personal God, as a saviour God, somebody who is mighty and victorious, somebody who loves us and cares for us. So maybe today you'll take time to read Psalm 24 again. Don't know what you're up to today. Don't know if you have a busy day, if you're going to be working. Maybe you'll not see this until later on. Or if you'll have a quiet day. Maybe not going out much because of everything else that's going on. So take some time. Read Psalm 24 again. Just reflect upon who God is. And who he is to you. That he is... The Lord of everything, the world and all its people. Let's thank him for that this morning. Father, thank you that you are indeed God. Thank you that it's not up to us, but it's up to you. Thank you that we are not the ones who were left to create this world, but that you had done that for us. Lord, we would have only got it very wrong. We, we've got looking after your world wrong and we are sorry for that so lord just thank you for what you have made and created and help us in our role to to look after this earth but 
Lord, we pray about our relationship with you. May we truly approach you. May we come into your presence and worship you. May we recognise exactly who you are and give you all glory and honour. For you are the one who deserves it. Father, thank you for this day that you have given to us. And help us in our own way today, Lord, to serve you, to follow you, to let your light shine. Father, thank you. And continue with us today, we pray, in Christ's name. Amen. Folks, thank you for joining with me this morning. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow morning at the same time. But today, just take some time to reflect upon who God is, what he means to you, what your relationship with him is, and just give him that thanks and praise, um, which he truly does deserve. So thank you. Take care. God bless.